Hello guys, Oscar Hotel, ATR Tango November here from Survival Tech Nord. Well, it's a couple of weeks late, but it's about time that we introduce you to the Super Antennas uh, MP1DX Max. Now, the weather's been such that I couldn't do this video all at once, so we're going to piece it together with the various field tests and some tabletop work uh, so that you can get a good idea about what it's all about. So, stick with me and... Uh, Let's take a look at the Super Antenna MP1 DX Max. Let's go. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. So the MP1 DX Max from Super Antenna is their flagship kit. The MP1 DX Max is a tool kit. It'll let you activate 80 up through 2 meters and it'll do any HF band and 2 meters simultaneously. The base kit is the MP1C Super Slider that'll get you going from 40 to 10 meters and that's coupled with the MC2 Super Plexer which gets you on VHF. Now there's many more components to the kit but we'll go through those individually. At the core of the kit we have the Mike Papa 1 Charlie. On its own it'll give you 40 through 10 meters HF. Then there's the Mike Charlie 2 Super Plexer. This 2 meter die plexer coupled with the Mike Papa 1 Charlie will give you HF plus 2 meters simultaneously on the same coax. Then we have the Mike Charlie 80 for 80 meter band. The Mike Charlie 60 for the 60 meters band. The Sugar Whiskey 1 Titanium Super Whip. The TM1 low profile tripod and the UM2 universal mount. And a multitude of other components helping to complete this communications toolbox. So now let's set up the MP1 DX Max outside in the backyard. The kit has a lot of different components, but that doesn't mean you need to use all of the components for each deployment. In practice, you'll only use what you need for that activation. I'm installing the Mike Charlie 2 Super Plexer simply because it's my default configuration for testing. The Sugar Whiskey 1 Titanium Whip is a nice addition to the set. It can be folded around onto itself for storage and easily released for deployment. Be careful when deploying the Sugar Whiskey 1 around other operators. Uh, the Titanium Whip has a lot of stored tension. Now we can install the extension rod for the Mike Charlie 2 Superplexer. Then screw that into the Tango Mike 2 low profile tripod. If you're going to use the Tango Mike 2 to deploy in snow, you'll probably want to use a PL259 elbow to get your coax cable out of the snow. But for a tabletop tripod or just placing it temporarily on top of your vehicle, it's an excellent little tripod. Now we'll go ahead and attach the counterpoise wire and unwind it. You'll notice I taped all the strands together, making it one long counterpoise wire. This simplifies deployment. I think not including a wire winder for the counterpoise set with this antenna system uh, was kind of a marketing fail. Even when the counterpoise set is uh, taped together as it is, I still need to re remove my gloves or mittens to deploy this wire without tangling it. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but I hope that super antennas can learn from companies like Sota Beams or Chameleon Antennas who deliver wire winders with their systems. It's certainly not a deal breaker, but it shows how a company cares and understands how their customers are deploying their products. Thank you. 
And here's the entire system set up for 40 through 10 meters plus 2 meters using the diplexer. Now we're going to use the frequency guide to tune up on 40 meters before deploying the Whisper test kit. The frequency guide makes it very easy and simple and repeatable, most importantly, uh, to get the right SWR every time. It does take a little practice, but it's uh, no big deal and it becomes a no-brainer uh, after just a few times. My Whisper test configuration was MP1 DX Max as you've seen it configured in this video. I used WSJTX on Ubuntu Linux that's running on my Asus uh, Echo 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 PC. I used the Yaesu FT817ND at 2 watts and the uh, ZLP Mini Pro SE audio interface. During my first 40 meter test with the MP1 DX Max, I was actually astonished with the reception capabilities of the system. That means astonished in a good way. On the flip side, the lack of reception reports from my Whisper Beacon using the MP1 DX Max was rather disappointing, but I'm not too worried about that yet and I'll explain to you why. Rather than just leaving it to it, I decided to keep running the tests on 30 meters and 40 meters using the Whisper light from Sota Beams. Now, some of us would probably have uh, increased the power uh, to force the results that we wanted, but instead, I went the opposite way. Using the Whisper light at 200 milliwatts, I was able to see what the band was doing and also uh, able to understand how the antenna was performing. I thought this was especially important to do before I slammed or rewarded the antenna. I also switched over from the low profile tripod to a 2 meter tall tripod and UM1 that I had lying around. That increased the antenna height to about 2 meters. And it also helped find those missing reception reports that I was so worried about previously. We're going to be seeing a lot of the MP1 DX Max on this channel, but until we do, uh, have a look at Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango November.org for the articles and tests that I've written on the MP1 DX Max. So, what's my opinion? The final thoughts? Well, let's start with the pros High Speed Load Drag Antenna Toolkit. Uh, it's ultra compact and has an extremely small breakdown size. Uh, you can set it up for any HF band plus 2 meters and that's with a single rig a dual VFO or dual rig single antenna. You no longer have to carry the tuner or the second antenna. We're going to cover this later in a video or possibly a blog post. But one of the pros I'd like to mention about the MP1 DX Max are the various deployment configurations that are possible with the kit. Usually on this channel, if something is made in China, it's already going to fail before it even gets to a video. That's not true for the MP1 DX Max, which is engineered in California, manufactured in China, but has an excellent quality control mechanism in place in China to ensure the quality of manufacture. So my final point for the pros is excellent manufacturing quality. Now let's look at the cons. The counterpoise wires are a complete mess. Uh, you'll have to get a wire winder. Primarily coming from a mag loop, I find the MP1DX Max noisy in urban locations. Now, although the MP1DX Max is delivered with the TM1 tripod, uh, its performance is very dependent upon its height, so when deploying, you'll need to take care about that. That's it for the cons, which means we're going to start the introduction to the MP1 DX Max on this channel with a thumbs up. 
I'm going to leave you with a few related videos and ask you to let me know what you think about the MP1DX Max in the comments. Also, like, share, subscribe, and follow me on my blogs. Links in the description. Alright guys, rock and roll. Thanks for watching. Ciao.